So what role does EPIC play in the growth of integrated photonics? EPIC is the industry association of photonics in Europe. So basically, EPIC supports all the photonic technologies. What EPIC does is to create an atmosphere, an ecosystem of European companies and help them to be successful in what they do, in Europe and outside. EPIC is European-oriented, but works also with Asia and with America in order to create that ecosystem, especially to benefit the European companies. When it comes to photonic integrated circuits, EPIC provides what we think is what this community needs, and it is to help the end users access this technology. And we, don't, we didn't come up with a necessity. Our members told us, our members said, we have all the supply chain that we have, but we're struggling to find that final end user. The first thing they told us was we need standards. We need this technology to be standardized in order to be suitable and compatible with the current systems that are already in the market. And they said, Epic, can you help us with that? What we are doing today is set setting up those standards. We don't do it ourselves. Our members does it. But how do they do it? What we do is we collect their knowledge in a, in a, in a document, the document that contains the design rules, the specifications for the connectors, the bomb pads, the interface between what you saw today, the chip, and the rest of the system. We put that in a document and we say, this is how the EPIC members think. 300 important players in the community. If you follow this recommendation, you actually have the support for this community. If you can do it any other way, it's not a formal standard, it's a de facto standard, but it's very, very valid. And that's our approach. Another thing that we do as well is that we organize workshops, but they are very focused workshops. We organize a workshop, for example, at TE Connectivity. TE Connectivity is the largest company in the world in optical interconnects. So basically, we brought a selection of EPIC members, all CEOs and CTOs, at a workshop there for two days in which we studied what are the needs of TE Connectivity and of the whole uh, data center market in general, and we see how we could address it with the technology that is present at the EPIC consortium. That, in a, in a nutshell, is how we support the PAC community. Is most of the people in the ecosystem, are they established companies, or are you also seeing the growth of uh, especially startups uh, who are uh, d disrupting the community? And EPIC uh, supports all the different companies, from startups to large companies. To become an EPIC member, you have to pay certain fees. For startups, they are extremely low, only 500 euros a year, and it keeps increasing as you are a bigger company. We see the value of standards. And actually, Carlos Lee, the director, uh, manager director, has organized lots of uh, workshops to create a photonic startup or to create a photonic SME. Even he has invited uh, speakers from all over the world that have actually high level experience organizing these kind of workshops and has invited uh, high level students or high people with entrepreneurial fascinations, entrepreneurial talent to be at that kind of workshops. And I can tell you from one of the ones that we organized together in the past, already a startup has been formed. So it's, it's been quite successful on that part. Epic knows that uh, the, the community has to be active, that companies have to grow, and new companies have to appear. And there's place for everybody in the world of photonics. Uh, finally, i also talking to the people who are going to finance this. For example, the venture capitalists. Are, are they interested in uh, photonics? Indeed, uh, thanks, to, thanks to the project Light Jumps, that is a European-funded project and EPIC is a part of it, venturing and financing is a very important part of the EPIC thing. We actually support uh, a lot the interaction between the companies and the venture capitalists and business angels. We organize workshops for that. We organize workshops in which we put people in touch and we actually ask them what are the needs of the of the market and how they can actually fit all the needs that these business angels and venture capitalists have. And for example, there was one in Rome only one year ago about actually addressing this, and it was very successful. And what did you think of this particular event? This, cause this was the sort of first experiment here in Eindhoven. Um, is this useful? What Eindhoven has done in the world of photonic integrated circuits is fascinating. I mean, when you think about it, uh, uh, Mind Smith started working on PACs already 30 years ago. In the last 10 years, has grown this technology to the point in which everybody is talking about being the next electronics. That's amazing. 
uh, startups have been formed so much in the last years. Uh, companies are actually using the technology that was initially developed by a clean room at a university. That's incredible. When you see that Santa Barbara, when you see UC Davis, when you see uh, the presentation of Michael Levy today about how America is actually following what Eindhoven has done, is incredible. I mean, you have to agree on that. It's really fascinating. So this workshop is showing that. It's showing the regional power of Eindhoven and how the rest of Europe and the rest of the world can benefit. So in that sense, I think it's incredible what they are doing today.